These days, I'm all about getting the maximum amount of flavor with as little effort as possible. And with a few flavor packed tricks up your sleeve, you can turn just about anything into an amazing meal. Today, I'm gonna actually show you how to take a few simple ingredients and turn them into a versatile plate of food that's easy enough for weeknight dinners and classy enough for entertaining. And of course, everything we do, you know it's gotta be simple, delicious, easy, and just good food. So let's get started. I'm super excited about today because I am a steak and potatoes kind of guy. Speaking of potatoes, I've got some Yukon Gold. You could use rusted potatoes, you could use Yukon Gold, whatever you have. These are already cubed and in some cold water. So I've already peeled them. And I'm just gonna cut one up so I can show you how I do it. I lob off the bottom, turn them on its side, so then we'll cut them into sticks, and then we'll turn those sticks into cubes. Back in the cold water. All right, I just give them a judge just to get rid of some of the starch. All right, one of the ways to infuse really great garlic flavor into your potatoes is to take garlic cloves and then just cook them with the potatoes. So I've got a pot of water here that's about to start boiling. So I'm gonna drop in the garlic and then I'm gonna put in the potatoes. All right, so while the potatoes are boiling with the garlic, uh, let's make the marinade, right, for a steak. So I've got a ribeye. You can use the bone in or the boneless. It's completely up to you. This is the one without the bone, but look at this great marbling of fat in here. So we're gonna get really good flavor. So let's make the rub. All right, very simple. Let's put a little bit of salt and pepper to start. So I got a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt that I'm gonna start with and a little bit of ground pepper. Now let's put in some garlic powder because that's gonna be really important. And this is one of my favorite things to use ever. This is ground fennel. I love what ground fennel does to so many different flavor profiles. So I'm gonna put some ground fennel right in there. Just the fennel seed that's ground up, okay? A little bit of spice. Never hurt nobody, huh? So let's do a little bit of red pepper flake for some personality. All right, and then this is one of my faves too. So if you don't have this, this is palm sugar that's made from coconut, right? So it's gonna give us like a little bit of like mapley, sugary sweetness. But you can use brown sugar if you can't find palm sugar. I'm gonna give this a stir. And look at this. This is gonna become the spice mixture. Ooh, that's gonna go on our steak, all right? And I gotta tell you, this already smells good. Now, what I like doing most is turning this into a paste. So we do that by putting a little bit of olive oil right into the bowl, just like that. And then we'll stir until we get a paste consistency. That looks like a paste to me. So we take the paste and we put the paste right onto the steak. All right, that's one side and then I'm gonna flip them over and get the other side. All right, and then we'll just let this hang out at room temperature until we're ready to put them on the stove. All right, the potatoes have had a chance to cook until they're fork tender. Uh, I can tell they're done and I can smell that garlic thing happening with the potatoes. I'm just gonna drain them after you get a facial, right? Drain them real good and then I'm gonna throw them right back into the pot and then we could actually come over and mash them. But I like doing this by hand. So I'm gonna get in here and just mash up the potatoes with a potato masher. I like to mash them first and then we'll put some love in the potatoes. All right, so let's add a few things to make the potatoes taste really, really good. All right, so if you know me, I'm all about mascarpone cheese. It's like the Italian version of cream cheese. It makes me happy just thinking about it. So we're gonna add some of that right in here. And we'll give it a stir. All right, along with our mascarpone cheese, we're also gonna add in some butter, because that's gonna be important. So I got a little butter that's gonna go right in here as well, because potatoes <laughs> need a little butter. All right, and then we'll season them very simply. Here's some salt, and then here's some pepper. 
Got a little bit of half and half just to bring everything together. So we'll put a little bit in at a time and see where we are with the consistency. Mascarpone mashed potatoes ready to go. Look at that. All right, so we'll let this hang out. These look good. I mean, they look nice and fluffy, nice and mashed, exactly like the potatoes should be. Steak has had a chance to marinate. It's ready to rock and roll. This skillet is nice and hot. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil in the skillet first before I add the steak to it, just so nothing sticks or burns. And here's our steak. Okay, so I think it's a good time to flip the steak. We've had a chance to let it really sear and caramelize on one side. So here we go with this other side. Uh, look at that. That's what I'm talking about, perfect, okay? Perfect, perfect, perfect. I kinda wanna make a nice sort of uh, sauce for the steak, and so to do that, I'm gonna add a little bit of white Hennessy, and I'm gonna let the white Hennessy cook down and then reduce with the flavors that are happening, that brown sugar and that garlic, it's gonna be really, really good. So watch this. <laughs> I think it's a good time to make the cocktail while the steak finishes because this is gonna be uh, time to eat, right? So let's talk about what we're doing. We're gonna do a blueberry tequila honeysuckle. It's the most insane, delicious cocktail and you're going to absolutely enjoy it. So I'm gonna add the blueberries right into the bottom of my cocktail shaker. With a spoon, I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna get in here and just muddle those blueberries as best as I can. All right, those look muddled to me. So let's add the rest of the good stuff. So I did say honeysuckle, so honey is definitely an ingredient in here. So let's add in, for some sweetness, some honey. Okay, also, I got a little bit of sweetened lime juice that's gonna go in here as well, right? Kinda like a lemonade-ish, margarita-ish, but tequila honeysuckle-ish, right? <laughs> Sweet lime juice is in there. And what I kinda wanna do is I wanna shake this up and I wanna get that honey dissolved before I go any further. So, just like this. All right, that honey has had a chance to dissolve, so we're good. White Hennessy in the steak, white Hennessy in the cocktail, obviously, and then let's do a little bit of tequila. All right, let me get some ice out of the freezer. It's a lot of ice. <laughs> Put on our shaker. We'll carefully give it a shake. All right, let's pour ourselves a drink. Let's give it a taste. Listen, <laughs> hold on one second. Mm. That lime juice gets you right there. The, but the tequila and the white Hennessy pair so well together. And you get that slight note of blueberries. It's really good. Mm. It's like your new favorite cocktail, I'm trying to tell you. Okay, this is gonna go really good with our steak. And speaking of steak, look at what's ready to go. Okay, look at that. I'm just gonna put the whole thing uh, uh, right here on a plate with a little bit of some of that oil. We cannot forget the mascarpone mashed potatoes ready to go. All right, you know what that means? There's only one thing left for me to do and that's to get in here and see how all of my hard work paid off. Look at this. So when I cut into the steak, look at how juicy that steak is. So I'm gonna grab some steak with some of the mashed potatoes in one bite. What you want me to say? Huh? You already know, you can look at it and tell how good it is. The potatoes are nice and fluffy. Mmm. The mascarpone cheese is really good. The steak is well seasoned and tender. Mm. 
This is really, really good. Recipes like this, you know where they're gonna be on my website, it's www.dariuscooks.tv. There's two things I gotta tell you as I always do. Food is my life. Life, ooh, it's my food, y'all. Until next time, I gotta wish you happy cooking from my heart to yours. Bye, y'all. Ooh.